Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play a Crusader Kings 2 again. <laughs> I've done one of these before. Uh, you may or may not remember. If you missed it, basically, well it's still on YouTube if you want to see it, but basically I took the Holy Roman Empire. Not at all. I took the Byzantine Empire, the Basileia Romaion. I took it at its smallest uh, start date. And I tried to re um, reform the Roman Empire, which is an, a decision you, you have in the game. We did that. It was fun. That was, I think, the first and only game I've ever seen the Black Plague. So that was a thing. It was interesting. Um, overall, it was an interesting game. We're going to try to do something different today here. Um, and I'll, we're also going to try to do something that uh, was suggested. When I did that previous project, I did ask if you, there was something else you maybe would like to see in a future project of the same game. And only one person answered, and he's getting what he wants. Too bad if you wanted something. He is going to get it. Uh, let's do a new game. <laughs> I do not like these. Custom, please, thank you. We're gonna start, I mean, is that fine? It's probably fine. Let me see a little bit. No, this is not fine. This is not what I want to do. Let's explore these. A new millennium! It doesn't start where I want it to, though. Canute the Great, that's fine. So that's the earliest for what I want to do. So, what was suggested... It's not going to be a count. Bohemia. Well, Turkey, really. Um... Yeah, it's just a, a duke at this point. It eventually becomes a kingdom, I'm sure. <coughs> gonna be Bohemia. Um, and we're gonna try to do something different. So last time I was a, a massive empire and I ruled with an iron fist of... Uh, I don't give a shit about your qualms. <laughs> no, but really, you just... Yeah, you, people are gonna be unhappy. That's just an occasion to... Uh, you know, control them, because once I've beaten them in the field of battle, then I can do whatever I want with them. Because they gave me a reason, uh, a valid reason to remove titles or keep them imprisoned forever. So that was a game. Uh, we're gonna try to do something different, I keep saying. We're gonna be a vassal this time, we're not gonna be... We're not gonna be on the map, look at that. We're not technically on the map, we're here. <laughs> but we're not visible, we're part of something else. So that's one thing. We're gonna be a vassal. Sure, you can become the emperor. I'm not aiming to. It can happen in ac by accident. In, you know, um, uh, I was gonna say uh, democracies. It's not quite a democracy. <laughs> in uh, elective monarchies, and I'm pretty sure Elias Romich is right, is Holy Roman Empire. Uh, I might be wrong. But I think it starts elective. Uh, the goal is going to keep it as decentralized as possible, so that there's a lot of politicking going on, and maybe take part in that political game. I, we probably are going to have to, because Bohemia is a, can be a powerful vassal. And if we're a powerful vassal, there's a good chance we're going to be on the council for the Holy Roman Empire. Um, parallel to that, we're keeping the Empire as decentralized as possible for the fun of politics, question mark. We're also going to try to be as centralized as possible here. So, when I was doing vassal management here, obviously that was extremely decentralized. We are extremely big and we don't own a significant portion of that land directly. We're going to try to own as much of our actual land as possible. There's the reason that it's going to be different. There's also other more practical reason. If you accidentally get elected <laughs> emperor, well, first off, you're going to be a strong emperor, but more importantly, when you stop being emperor, also accidentally because somebody else got elected, um, your lands are still going to be yours. So if you look at... Um, Dukes? So this guy here is super big. Schwaben's also decently big, right? It's not an actual, like, this guy owns a lot of land from a lot of different duchies. If he gets elected right away, 
Like, maybe he's gonna have two duchies among those, right? He might have more than the, if he gets elected emperor, the rest of the vassals are gonna go like, you shouldn't have more elective titles than two. So he's gonna end up having only two duchies. Once he stops being emperor, his line specifically, because he's gonna die, uh, that only happens once he dies, but once he stops being emperor, the only land he's going to get back is, well, the land he owns personally, and then the va the counts that are part of his de jure duchies. He, he, he gets shattered, essentially. So these big, uh, these big vassals, if you want to shatter them, just get them elected and they're they're gonna stop existing as they are that's kind of how it works and we're gonna completely dodge that bullet because we are going to personally own all, all of Bohemian hopefully uh, so we're not trying to uh, expand outside of Bohemia we're gonna try to um, I mean we probably have vassals in there so we're going to try Do we? only one we already own most of it going to applaud uh, Mr. Sir because that's a very valid decision uh, but yeah we're we're going to be here we're not really gonna try to expand that's not gonna be our goal uh, you do this is the kind of game where you put your own goal set your own goal rather um, if I had to pick one oh wow England is yeah okay if I had to pick a goal uh, I was I was tempted tempted to yeah other than just playing around with the politics, I was tempted to try to uh, s not only convert to a heresy but try to convert the empire to a heresy. Um, I don't know exactly how to do that because I've never tried to do that, but that's going to make it interesting for me. Hopefully it's going to make it interesting for you. The reason I wanted to do that is towards the end of the medieval era. Um, man, what were they called? Hussites or something? There's a, there's kind of a national brand of Catholicism that um, was born um, in Bohemia. It actually got crusades against it and whatnot, and actually survived the crusades quite well. Uh, they had a very uh, intelligent... Uh, general that was very good at defending the country so they defended themselves and then it just kind of settled in more or less uneasily um, but they never really exported their religion so we're gonna try to make that happen first off but also try to export it this time you know make the empire think like us instead of just getting crusade after crusade that would be annoying so um we're gonna try that i don't know how i'm gonna do that i've never tried it so we'll see how that works out uh, passive that's the only thing i really insist on the rest i don't think i care i don't want to go through all that passive because i i just don't like heavy railroading there's one reason i really dislike well okay there's a few reasons i these days dislike Mayu from your Universalis 4 and one of them is that they just railroad you super hard you can't just do stuff for the sake of you know having fun that's not allowed it's only fun if it goes exactly the same way it always goes boring just saying there's there's a difference between realism and uh, historical outcomes sometimes history was very the, the, what happened in history was not the logical outcome. Anyway. Um, active EMF team member, blah, blah, blah. Let's make history. Let's make history with EMF. We play a succession of rulers. We are a Tisky Catholic Heritogo. I don't know. Apparently the checks are not very special, says the game. I didn't say that, the game said that. <clears throat> here we are. Here we are, the brown smudge over here with Praha. It's Praha in English, isn't it? It's Prague, apparently, in... Uh, in Cesky? 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 Um, 
in French also it's pronounced Prague, so... Well, it's pronounced Pag, specifically. There's a little less swag to it. Uh, yeah, we indeed own everything. There's a lot of empty land. We're gonna have to build a lot of cities to sustain all this. A lot of cities because... Mm, uh, owning directly all the armies means they're gonna cost a lot of money. And then there's Lamerites, which belongs to my steward, of all people. I don't know. He's a guy. He's a powerful vassal. He's apparently on my council. Hopefully... Yeah, okay, steward, that's fine. It's his best characteristic. Actually, my council's decent, except for you. There's a better one right here. Oh, there you go. What are we doing? Hunting apostates for now. <laughs> for now! <laughs> this is good, good. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to convert everybody right away. I kinda have to settle down. Oh wait, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. We'll get back to that. You're kinda garbage at stewardship. Let's increase stewardship. That's going to help somewhat. That's not how you increase stewardship. This is how you increase stewardship. It's gonna help somewhat. I kind of need you as well. Okay, hold on. Somebody at the door. Okay, I don't know what's going on down there. Somebody else is entering the door from another apartment. I don't know. I think he rang here because he wasn't getting a fast answer from the, <laughs> the other guy. I don't know. Uh, if he rings again, I guess I'll just take a look for real. That's... wow, you're horrible. Chief this, wait, am I a... Why am I a cons... Mm. We're half tribal, apparently. Maybe this is gonna fix itself. We're gonna wait a little bit, you know, just to see. Uh, what else can we do? Probably collect taxes. Who's... Is this? One, two, three, four, five. This is probably mine, no? Do I own more? Wait, what's going on here? Why is it six out of two when I have five? Oh, wait. <laughs> that one was kind of hidden way over there. I didn't see it. Okay. Well, we'll see if this fixes itself, but that's going to be a problem. In fact, we can maybe help that a little bit. Uh, I can get more... Oh, man. The, the council has to review it. Yeah, it's empowered. Actually, most things are empowered. Titles and offices is the only thing I control. We're gonna have to change that. We want to be as centralized as possible. The Emperor Empire needs to be decentralized. Yeah, the Empire has the same empowerment. So, what's the Council consideration on... Okay, you know what? We're gonna give them a chance to figure out what their opinions is. It's pr they, they probably don't know because they the game hasn't started yet. Um, let's just give it some time. Do I pledge peace? Am I gonna fight somebody? I don't think I'm gonna fight somebody, so pledging peace might be um, doable. This also might be doable, and in fact might give me stewardship faster than peace. Well, it's going to take less than 15 years to get to 300. Well, well, no, it's not 300. 500, right? Yeah. Alright, so the question is, am I in need of things to build? Yeah, I do have a lot of things to build, though. Eh, I think I still take it, just for the added stewardship. Like, very early added stewardship. Uh, we are going to want more money. We always do. Do we want to train troops or research military tech? I don't know. We should have plenty of troops, no? Also, they're gonna cost a crap ton, and I don't know that I have the uh, income to deal with that. 2000 seems like a lot this early, it might not be. I may be completely wrong about that. Uh, I guess we'll just wait and see. 
So what was I saying? I'm gonna keep it at that for now. Go research military tech. Improve diplomatic relations. I don't... Well, at least he's good at it. I don't know that I necessarily have a lord. Maybe the emperor? Is that your capital? Hold on. That is your capital. Okay. I think. Are you in Hano? Yes. Okay. Good. 9,000. What are the other big ones? You're a big one. 3,000. So I'm weaker than you. Saxon. Uh, 4,000. Ew. I'm kind of weak then. 2.5 for Schwaben. Not the most impressive thing. And then Bayern. 2.3. Which is exactly like me, actually. I'm as big as this thing. I guess. Well, I have more than that because of the vassals, sure. They don't contribute that much, but whatever. What were we saying? Oh, no. Well, I assigned him a job, I guess. Study technology? Probably. I like studying tech. Let's, uh, let's spy on the Empire, maybe, I don't know. There's no reason to spy anywhere in particular. A court chaplain... Right, y you can hunt apostates, that's fine. I mean, researching culture or tech is also a decent choice. How many bishops do I have? I should maybe improve relations with him. Oh, I get to appoint people, that's nice. Let's improve relations with that guy, it's gonna give us a little bit more um, income once he likes me more. Whoops. I dropped something on the floor. Here we are. Okay, space bar. Increase that at least by two orders of magnitudes. It is not fixing itself. Well, it hasn't been a few months. Yeah, actually, give it a month or two first. Inefficient taxation, troop recruitment, and resentment among your vassals. Well, I practically have none, so it's not that big of a deal. He is attacking for Brandenburg. That's your first action. Usually it's something else, but okay, we're gonna we're gonna start with the holy war. I am providing 169 troops. I guess I don't like him very much. <laughs> or he just doesn't get much out of people. Yeah, minus two. Apparently I don't like him. Oh wait, that's the other way around. I like him. <laughs> Plus 47. There you go. So it's elective. Do I get to elect? I'm not even on your council? Are you kidding? How am I not in your... Okay. How do I like him and I'm not in his council? I'm powerful, aren't I? I'm going to be eventually if I'm not right now. You know, in September and even October. The glory faction is hostile. It's only one person. It's not like he matches. Inefficient taxation. And I get a lot of money as well. So that's pretty nice. Right. So if now I do this. Are you okay with it? You, none of you care. None of you at all care. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Also, can I create that? I need to be Mies of Maraska. Um, which means I need that. That ain't done yet. Let's just put it that way. It's in Poland. <laughs> That is problematic. Huh. He kind of owns this area too. Mazose, is that the one? No, Mura. He kind of owns it, but kind of not. Alright. Let's maybe try it with marriages. We don't have anything yet though. All we have is a son. What can we get? Oh, 
Can I get a, a good Catholic lady? Re Weimar of the Principato di Salerno. I don't think that's extraordinarily good, but it's up there, I guess. Apparently. Oh, Magyas. Magyas might be nice. Also, she's decent at stewardship, which is somewhat important. Do it. Unlended son. Well, I guess I can give one of them to my son. I I'll let him. I'll marry him first, though. He did get married. Congratulations, your boy. I am going to give you. What's it called? Glatz. Grat. Wait. Glatz. Why? Why would you name one Glatz and the other one Grats? I just, you know what? Whatever. 